Well, hello again, guys. Um, just wanted to show you another pair of boots I was working on. I call these the militia boots, Missouri made militia boot. Um, it's kind of a jack boot fashion. It's got a hardened uh, impact plastic toe cap, leather soles. Of course, that's optional. You can have rubber soles or apox soles if you want. Uh, toe taps and heel taps are available too. And the uh, the boot and heel are all one solid piece, as you can see, uh, all the way down through here, uh, as opposed to having a three piece boot like a lot of the boots I make. Um, so it's a very solid design. You can see it's unlined, thick, fetched hand hand dyed leather, which is my preference. I like to make them uh, like that. And I gave it this kind of a, well, very unique uh, buckle flap design. You can see it's kind of a zigzag. And the, uh, the flap is actually internal on one side and comes out over the other side to close it up. And of course you have, you know, a couple loops of uh, extension and contraction. And it's very solid. It works fairly well. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, solid steel tacky. They didn't use brass tacky for this. This is a galvanized steel tack. It's pretty nice stuff. Uh, yeah, I think these are going to be pretty cool boots. I don't know if they'll sew well or if they'll pick up. Uh, oh, another thing too about these boots is that they are stove stovepipe shaft. They're pretty much straight flange. There isn't much curvature out for the calf. It's a straight cut to the calf because the peak only ends at your highest point in your calf, which is about 16 inches from most people. And uh, it's a totally flat top. There isn't a cant in any way on this. So this is designed to be more of an economic uh, boot that I'm going to be selling. Um, yeah, it's going to probably cost someone the order of $175 to $180 plus shipping. Maybe a little less. I don't know. I'm still debating on price because I want everybody to have cool boots, you know, but I gotta make some money at least so I can keep doing it, you know, that's the big thing. So, I was thinking about making this my economy model. And it's pretty cool, they're very comfortable. This is actually a 10 double E. Of course, it feels like it could be a triple E. I wear a 10 double E sometimes and uh, it's very wide. But the last I have for this uh, toe cap that you can see, this toe style, I have them in every width pretty much, all the way up to the triple E. So, we're good there, yeah. So, yeah, it's just a fun boot. I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, plus another thing too to mention is that it seems like I've only put one stitch around the whole thing, but that's not actually the case. I stitched it once and then I went over it again with a 138 double bonded thread, so this is not going anywhere. The leather will have to tear before it actually gives way. So it has a nice minimalist look. You know, it doesn't have layer upon layer of stitches. You know, some boots have um, three or four rows of stitching going around. I mean, military boots at least, not necessarily riding boots, but military boots have three or four rows of stitching going all around it, so this reduces that, but still maintains a high level of sturdiness and strength, so yeah. These are really rigid boots. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Should I wear them for a while and then sell them, or should I just sell them right away? Because <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to march around these guys for a bit. They are really slick. And they look good, because they got this perfectly cylindrical shaft, and it makes my legs look great and it fits my calf perfectly. <laughs> and I'll be sure to put up a video about that, so. All right, thanks for looking.